Welcome. You're listening to Guided Animal Meditations for Humans. I'm your narrator, wildlife enthusiast, Digby Birdwhistle. For the next few minutes, I'll be guiding you as you drift away and envision a new world, a new life, and a fresh experience as another wonderful animal on this fine planet. Now please, take a moment, if you haven't already, to get comfortable and begin to let yourself relax. Take one big breath and exhale slowly. And now, we begin. It's a quiet day in Atosha National Park in Namibia. The blazing African sun sits proudly in a light blue sky that seems to stretch out endlessly. You are a giraffe, and you are in a very good mood. It's been a perfect morning out in the savannah, and you're taking your time as you head towards a dense thicket of acacia trees. Stopping for a moment, you look around and notice that there are other animals in the savanna with you. Some are grazing on the grass, while others are playing and frolicking in the sunshine. But you, as a giraffe, are simply standing tall and proud, soaking in the beauty of your surroundings. Suddenly, you feel a tickle on your neck, and you realize that a bird has landed there. Ah, it's a red-billed oxpecker. It's not unusual for them to land on you and hitch a ride for a while. You don't mind, as they're very light, and do you the courtesy of eating any bugs in those hard-to-reach places on your back. Remaining still, you enjoy the sensation of its tiny feet as it chirps a tune and carefully pecks away. You feel grateful for the bird's companionship and appreciate the moment of connection with another creature. After a few minutes, your little friend flies off and you begin to walk once more towards the acacia trees. Taking the last few steps to the trees, your belly rumbles in anticipation of the tasty meal before your eyes. You know that the best leaves are way up in the tree. So you stretch your neck high up and use your long prehensile tongue to wrap around the leaves and pull them into your mouth. As you munch away, you savor the taste and texture of the foliage, feeling grateful for the nourishment it provides. There's no shortage of acacia leaves where you are, and you continue to eat away to your heart's content. Just when you think that you couldn't possibly eat a tastier leaf, something catches your eye, high up in the tree. There it is, the perfect branch with the most perfect little leaves. My oh my, you must have them, although it is awfully high up there. Standing tall on your legs, you lift your head up, up, 
up as far as you can. With your head nearly 20 feet up into the tree, you find yourself face to face with the perfect branch with the perfect leaves dangling before your eyes. The next thing you know, you're happily chomping away at what are without a doubt some of the tastiest leaves you have ever had the pleasure of eating. Having eaten the branch clean, you lick your lips and think you are one lucky giraffe. With a full belly, you begin to wander through the savannah. Eventually, you come across a group of zebras grazing nearby. You watch them for a while, admiring their stripes and the way they move gracefully through the grass. You feel a sense of appreciation for the diversity of life here in Namibia and for the peaceful coexistence of different species. Later in the day, as the sun grows hot, you make your way to a nearby watering hole. You lower your long neck down to the water and take a long, refreshing drink. The water feels so nice that you decide to jump in for a minute, singing a little song as you cool off. Splish, splash, taking a bath. I'm a giraffe. Tell me a joke. I like to laugh. Silly giraffe. Having fun. Keeping cool. Everything's nice in my African pool. Splish, splash. Taking a bath. I'm a giraffe. A few nearby elephants and warthogs chuckle as they watch the show. You laugh too as you make your way out of the watering hole. As the day wears on, you find a comfortable spot to rest and watch the sunset. You lower yourself down onto the grass and close your eyes, feeling the gentle breeze blowing over your body. You savor the relaxation and contentment that fills you, knowing that you have had a full and rewarding day. With the stars twinkling overhead, you are perfectly at peace. As you let out a big sigh, you conclude that the African savannah is a truly wondrous place and that you are a very lucky giraffe. With a new sense of gratitude, you close your eyes and breathe deeply, slowly drifting off to sleep. With your long neck curled up comfortably and a smile from ear to ear. Could there be a happier little giraffe on earth? No, I don't think there could be. Well now, wasn't that nice? I hope you enjoyed spending a few minutes inside the mind of a giraffe. As always, I'm wildlife enthusiast Digby Birdwhistle. Thanks for listening, and remember, when life begins to heat up like an African savanna, you can always take a minute to cool off 
like a happy little giraffe.